Great seeing you here for devotions. Okay, this week, I'm going to be talking about the person that God uses. Now, I just want you to think about your life. You don't want to just live a life where you eat and sleep and you know, have a family and build a home. I mean, those things are good, but that's not what life is all about. Your life is to honor and to glory the Lord Jesus Christ. And, and you really want God to use you. And if, and if you don't let him use you, I mean, in a big way, small ways, you know, for eternity, we're, we're really going to regret that. So we're going to look at the person in which God uses. Look with me. Well, now we're going to go to the Apostle Paul, whose name used to be Saul. Okay, so just so you kind of get it in your mind, he persecuted the church. He was against Jesus Christ. He was putting people to death. Death. He was legally having this done. Now look at me in Acts chapter 9. After God shook him up, he, he blinded him. I mean, stopped him in his tracks. Uh, he, God says here, or I'm sorry, Paul says to God, Who are you, Lord? And he said, I am Jesus whom you are persecuting. But rise and enter into the city, and you will be told what you are to do. I, I, I like this because imagine this scene. He doesn't believe Jesus is God. He, he believes he's an imposter. He doesn't believe he's the Messiah. So then when Paul finally and they asked, well, like, you know, who are you that you're doing this to me? And Jesus said, hey, Paul, it's me. You know, the guy, you, you're, you're putting people to death in my name. And, uh, but no, notice here, he says, there's a plan. He goes, go in the city, and they'll tell you what you're to do. Did, did you ever think that God maps things out in your life? I mean, you think it was just an accident. It's not an accident, but God has planned this. No man is born in this world whose work is not born within him. God has a reason. He has a purpose here. There's this passage here. Uh, Romans 8, 28 proves it. You always look at the first part. We know that for those who love God, all things work for the get, uh, together for good. For those who are called according to his purpose. So when we look at that verse, we just say, you know, all things work for your good. Okay, that is not true. It says it works to your good for those who are called according to his purpose. Now, those who are called according to his purpose are fulfilling his purpose. So sometimes God permits the world, the devil... Uh, demonic spirits to attack us. Bad things happen to us. God's trying to get a hold of us like he blinded Paul. I'm trying to get your attention. I want you to live for me. I want you to serve me. Stop thinking about the things you're thinking about. You know, some people, they spend their whole life that they're all depressed because they're not with somebody that you know, they really love or whatever. Listen, those are okay, good things, but it's not as important as being used and to serve God. God will meet you where you are in order to take you where he wants you to go. Now, what that means is this. Let's say you've really messed up your life. You've made a lot of mistakes. You, you know God can still use you. We have a whole messed up world. And, and God will use you in a powerful way. And, and there are some people that will think to themselves, I, I'm too little to make a big impact. Do you really believe that? Did you ever try to sleep when a mosquito was flying around your head? <laughs> you can't do it, right? Okay, that little guy can make a big impact on your life. Well, you can make a big impact upon those around you. Look here, 1 Corinthians 2, 9. As it is written, what no eye has seen, nor ear hath heard, nor ear of uh, man has imagined, what God has prepared. Prepared for those who love him. So those who love him, live for him. They want to be used of him. And God wants to use you. You can imagine what it is God wants to do in and through your life. Let God have your life. He can do more with it than you can. Now, I really want you to take this to heart. So this is what I want you to do. I want you to say, God, I'm never going to be satisfied until I'm walking with you and being used of you. And I want to live my life on purpose for your honor and your glory.